All right. Let's talk about champion gear for free to play players. So right off the bat, I'll start by saying that the thumbnail is obviously Photoshop. And, and I'm not gonna talk about uh, getting a full set of champion gear on a free to play player. So right off the bat, this is impossible, okay? I'm gonna talk about a single piece of champion gear to gold or mythic for free to play player. So um, let's let's get into it. So first of all, let's look at the different different types of champion gear. So one thing you'll notice is each type, uh, each slot in the uh, equipment has a different amount of uh, let's look at gold. Different amount of mains required. So uh, the main end, uh, so it's eight piece of uh, crimson main. Um, uh, that's an average. Uh, I mean, that's an average compared to the others. The often is only six. Uh, I like this one because of the training speed. Only six piece. Um, you get to the helmet. I believe it's ten. No, it's seven. It's seven. Sorry, seven for the uh, the helmet uh, slot. And then you get to the armor. This one's at ten. Yeah, this one's at ten. Uh, and then you get the legs. The legs, the easiest one to do at five. Uh, and we're gonna look at this one specifically. And at uh, the accessories, it's it's uh, 14. It's completely crazy. Uh, we're also gonna look at the cost of uh, Mythic. So basically Mythic, you need uh, double basically the, the mains. It's, it's a little less than double because it's you get the same amount as gold, but obviously you don't need to redo the gray, green, uh, blue, and purple. So it's it's not technically double. It's less than double, but yeah, whatever. Uh, the thing that costs a lot is the forty-one uh, embers. Uh, obviously, it's it's also on par with. So the legs is gonna be a lot cheaper. So fifteen, and then the armor is gonna be twenty-nine. Oh, this is very expensive still. And then 21 for the uh, helmet, and then the offhand 18, which is the one I'm doing. I'm doing the Qatar on this account. And as you can see, guys, six out of six, my problem is with the secondary. We're gonna talk about secondary being a problem for free to play players. And then the last one, the main end is 24. But for the for the for this video, we're gonna talk about the legs. So basically, five mains, 15 uh, embers, uh, and we're gonna talk about ways to get mains, and we're gonna talk about ways to get embers, but we're also gonna talk about timeline expectation and all that, so uh, so right off the bat, we're not gonna talk about a, a full set. Uh, as far as my cabinet, uh, if you guys have been following what I've been doing, uh, I think I made a mistake. Yeah, I did build this, the, the the great sword because I was looking at research speed when I started this account and I thought hey I maybe I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get this to gold and mythic it's gonna be better than my electric lens and I changed my mind because it's it's I'm not saying it's impossible I'm gonna show you how to do it and, and the timeline but yeah I, I switch uh, but basically this is uh, an eight piece so basically I wasted on this piece of equipment Eight green and eight grays, so that would be a uh, forty, yeah, forty grays. I would have, and I, we're gonna look at grays because I wanna, I want to, uh, especially for the free-to-play players, uh, you need to realize uh, how many grays it takes because for most of the, those piece of equipment, especially for the um, the ways we're gonna look at this the, the, to get mains, you need to talk, you need to think about gray. Uh, gray uh, rare material because you're not gonna get a lot of blue not gonna get a lot of purple and gold so uh, but yeah I did I did use some mains in on this piece of equipment and like I showed my guitar currently at blue grade I have the mains and I'm missing the secondary so and I also have some more uh, mains lying around so basically I would have like 10 greens and 10 grays so that's 40 that's 50 total. I would have an extra 50. Uh, is that it? Yeah, 50 grays uh, on top of my six purple. Um, so, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I want to look at this is not the easiest one to make. Uh, this is the most useful one for me because it's for training speed, but the most, the, the easiest one are the legs. So, because you only need five, uh, five mates. 
All right, so what are the ways to get Crimson Mains? There are several ways. Um, so first of all, um, well, before we before we get into that, let me show you, uh, let me pull up to the screen, basically, how many grays you need. All right, so we'll look at the, at the um, like I said, the boots, the legs, whatever, that equipment's luck. So you need five grays just to make it the gray. So, so that means you need five green, five green is 20 grays, and so on and so on. Blues is the equivalent of 80 grays, purple, 320. So to get to mythic, not only do you need tw uh, 1,280 grays, that's a total of 1,705 gray crimson mains. And then if you want to get to mythic, that's close to 3,000 grays. And you need to look at how many grays it is because Trust me, guys, it's very hard to get a good drop. Uh, and as far as gold, um, gold embers, you need 15. So that 38, 40 gray embers. And the reason I'm I'm doing gray embers is because uh, if you're doing Tycoon, there's a way to get gray embers through Tycoon. Otherwise, um, the chest you can get. Uh, from various ways but it's it's very hard obviously you can get those from the the cargo ship so uh, trust me guys <laughs> embers is not the hardest thing to get for champion and crimson mains are not the hardest thing to get for champion gears the hardest the hardest thing to get are the secondaries because if you do what i've been doing you're gonna have more crimson mains than you have secondaries and this is why I, uh, I'm currently stuck on this piece of equipment where I have the mains and a couple uh, more, but I'm lacking some secondary. And the thing is, you can only get secondary uh, components, material from the crimson chest. And uh, once again, there's not a lot of ways to get chest. So uh, let's go back to this little chart that I made. Uh, you need, we'll talk about gold, okay? You want to get at least one piece. Let's say you want to get the legs, the gold grade, that's 1,705 gray crimson mains. What, so there's three ways to get, um, there's really three ways to get, um, to get crimson mains. So the first one and the most reliable one is when there's a bargain store. So right now there's no bargain store. It's... It's been in my experience over the last, I mean, I've been playing for three years on this account. Uh, and in, over the last year or so, we've had the bargain store appear every six to eight weeks. So it's pretty consistent. Save your gem. That's what I've been doing since the last one because I want to, obviously I'm not gonna buy Crimson Mates because that's not what I'm needing. I'm Well, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not buy, gonna buy them. I'm just saying that it's not my priority. I need the, uh, I need the secondary, but you uh bargain store is probably the best way to get them you can either buy i think there's there's you can buy some gray or is it some green crimson mains i'm not sure you can buy um at least low level crimson mains and you can also buy crimson chess which the difference between crimson chess and, and champion chess is that the champion chess you also get the secondary and the jewel the the crimson chess you only get crimson mains but then you you have it's very expensive. I believe it's like ten thousand gems for one chest. But then you're guaranteed a great, and you can be lucky, just like I was on this account, and I got a gold, a gold drop of crimson main on this account, which is why I'm lacking some secondary because I was lucky and I have not opened enough champion chests to get the secondary. So. A bargain store is usually the best way to get rare material. Now, another way through uh, events in the news. And right now there is uh, there is an event going on uh, where you can get some champion chest. As you can see, I did not do enough. And I've, I've been, uh, yeah, I've started late and I, I, I don't, I'm not gonna do this one. Uh, I was out camping, so I, I missed the first two days. So it's close to the end of this event. But you can get some uh, some champion chest. Now, in the past, we've had some events where, as you can see in the bottom section, that's the uh, pay to play where you have to uh, make purchases to unlock. And in the past, there was an event where you got 
uh, purple crimson uh, main in the free to play um, in the free to play version which the last the last two events like these the crimson the the purple crimson main was only for pay to play players so you can get some chess but in the past i believe this as this this has occurred at least once before maybe a couple more times uh you gotta pay attention to the news uh and sometimes igg will send uh will send some um yeah they'll send some um some uh development team um, mass mail uh and so so pay attention to those uh sometimes they're worth it in my case in the last and i i, I mean i i've logged in and i saw that the challenges were research so i decided not to go for it uh but yeah it's so these are very good ways to get crimson mains now the other one would be through tycoon uh, so there's four rotation of Tycoon, there's Bon Appetit, there's, uh, there's Queen Bee, there's Tidal Titan, and then there's Sh uh, Voodoo Shaman. And as you can see, I'm going to show you a Photoshop. Uh, it's not Photoshop, but yeah. So basically, uh, what it looks like on a Voodoo uh, Shaman rotation is you, uh, obviously this is not, this is just me copy pasting some images but you can get uh only on voodoo shaman you can get the uh champion chest a gray a crimson mains you can also get the blazing embers on all rotation and on voodoo shaman you get obviously the the shaman chest and the uh, gray uh, voodoo dolls but basically for champion gear you're looking at those um this you it's only gray and it's very rare you you don't get those every circuit so you may have to uh if you were boosting and you wanted i'm going for i'm gonna spend a bunch of of uh, gems on tokens and i'm gonna get as many crimson mains as i can um don't hold your breath uh in my experience and someone will probably come in and correct me uh, but I would say that you get on average maybe one gray mains every 50 tokens every five circuit and also one or two crimson chest uh, for about 50 uh, tokens maybe more maybe less you don't get a lot in my experience you don't see more than two on a on a full rotation and what I mean a full rotation is I mean the full circuit so it starts here and then you go through all of this, all of this, all of this, and all the way to the end. That's a circuit. In my experience, you don't get more than two on the board. Uh, I believe, and and maybe, maybe they just take the place of the pack. So in that case, I see one, two, three packs. There might be some more. There's no. Um, so obviously, there's no packs when it's uh, when it's Voodoo Shaman. So maybe the the the, the Crimson Mains and the Champion Chest take their places. So uh, if that's the case, then you may get about the same average of the number of packs you get per 100 tokens. Maybe uh, the combination of the Mains and the Crimson Chest. I have not done the math. I'm just saying it's a possibility. It's gonna be expensive <laughs> if you do that. The thing is, if you do that, oh, let me uh, bring this up back. Uh, if you do that though, you're gonna max out your Voodoo Shaman very easily. So for instance, uh, and when I say max out, I mean mythic. So if you, if you wanna get some uh, gold, um, gold champion gear through uh, Tycoon, through Voodoo Shaman Tycoon, you're gonna get your mask to mythic easily you're gonna get what all what else you're gonna get uh the main hand the bone staff easily also which this one is very costly we're talking about like nine voodoo dolls and then the other one is i think it's a vial what's it called yeah it's a vial yeah blighted vial so um that E very easily and obviously with all the chests you would get the other two uh, which I believe I, I have those at, yeah I have those at gold already and I'm not I'm not gonna do mythic on them I don't see the point unless they release some more packs uh, research three uh, we'll see now the other uh, ways to get uh, the the worst ways to get 
uh, Crimson Mains is through Champion Chance. Um, very, very, very low drop rate. Uh, in my experience, Champion Chests are for mostly secondaries because you need those guys. You need those guys. Uh, so you get mains from other sources and you get the secondaries from the champion chests. Uh, champion chests, you can get them from, uh, like I said, the events. Uh, well, well, let me pull back. Uh, yeah, this thing. Um, so you can get those from uh, events in the news, uh, special events like this. You can get those. You can get three from KVK, but it's only like uh, not every KVK. It's about like every two or three KVKs that there's a rotation where you get three of them. That's not a lot. Um, the other way is to get through, uh, I believe, yeah, Gilfest has been. Oh, Gilfest still there, but I think, yeah, I got my, uh, I collected my rewards, but that's a good way to get them. I believe uh, if, if you're in the uh, master, well, I'm, I mean, we're now moving to master, but we were in the expert. I believe in the expert and master gauntlet, you should have at least two, uh, two rewards where you can select um, champion chess. That's a great way to get them. And lastly, like I said, you also can get them with the tycoon. Uh, where is it? Shaman tycoon. Uh, but it's you're not gonna get a lot <laughs> so those are the ways to get them uh, like I said uh, the chests are mostly for the secondaries uh, now okay uh, let's go back to uh, this you need a lot you need a lot of grades you're gonna get grades from tycoon you're gonna get grades mostly from the champion chest don't kid yourself, that's champion chest, you're gonna get great. You might be lucky, but you're gonna get uh, from events, from bargain store, that's where you're gonna get from the crimson uh, crimson chest, that's where you're gonna get lucky drops where you get uh, green and, and blue and purple, and you're gonna be lucky like me and you're gonna get a, a gold at, at some point. Uh, but you need to buy them, you need to open them. Now, let's say, Let's say you get 50% of your uh, of your uh, of your uh, grays from the bargain store. So that's 850, okay? And then you get 20% from Crimson Chess. You're lucky, so uh, you would get 20% is 340. All right. So uh, you add those up together. Okay, that's so that's so basically 30% would be. You need about 500 from the tycoon from voodoo shaman tycoon uh, like i said you get about let's say you get one every 50. one every 50 tokens um okay let's go back to this uh if you guys remember it's 600 gems it's, it's 60 for 100 so it's 600 gem uh the thing is in a, on average, let's say you spend, let's say you spend sixty thousand, you get a uh, hundred luck token. Uh, basically, uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a, a couple lucky ones where you don't pay. You're gonna get the luck, the the, the the daily ones. But obviously, if you if you're if you're gonna do it in one rotation, you're just gonna get seven of them during that that rotation for that week. Um, and every time you you land on the the gemming gremlin you're gonna get some um, gems back so in my experience you're gonna get about about 25 percent back so basically on average i'd say this will cost you not 600 but if because of everything you're getting back just for the gems it's gonna take cost you maybe uh 45 000, so 450 gems per token now, okay, let's, it's time to do the math. So I said 500 uh, gray mains from the tycoon. So just as a reminder, you're gonna get grays like this. So 500 times 450, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, no, 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 I, I, I got it wrong. Okay, so 500 mains. But it will cost you 50 tokens on average for each main. 
So that's 25, <laughs> 25,000 tokens times 450. So that would cost you 11.2 million gems, guys, to get this to go. That's a lot. And that's assuming that you're buying from the bargain store 50% of your mains and that you're getting the rest about 20% from the um, from the crimson chest and that is for uh that's for <laughs> gold if you want to go for mythic that's roughly double that that's not exactly double that but it's not gonna be 22 million it'd be somewhere around 20 million gems so if you're free to play that's what you should be expecting it's a very long time commitment. If you're going slowly, if you slow roll them, I suggest that you just go all out when you can, when you want, uh, not on Artifact, but on the Tycoon when it's Voodoo Shaman. I suggest that you obviously save your gems well for the bargain store and then the rest for Tycoon, obviously. And then you do the events, guys. You need to do the events. KVK, you need... Well, obviously, if you're free to play and you want to get somewhere in this game, you need to do the events. So, yeah. So that's it. And whenever you have a rewards for championships, choose it. You're going to need... If you, if you only get the mains, you're not going to get anywhere because you're going to be stuck. You're going to need those secondary material. So, that's about it. Uh, if you think I'm wrong, if you think my mat, my mat is off, it's obviously I did it on a, on the side corner of the table here, but that's about it. Uh, like I said, I will show you again uh, my equipment. My mistake, this guy here, uh, which is about 40 grays, uh, would not make much of a difference because I would still need this, the Auric Alchem, yep, uh, to get it, to get my champion Qatar to purple I'm still a long ways away from gold it's a three-year-old account a little bit more than three or three three and a quarter uh, so if we're talking about timeline I'm gonna get this to gold in about meh, probably another three year because the first year that I've been playing Obviously, I didn't get a lot. I was not Castle 25. I did not pay attention to events and stuff like that. So uh, you can write that off. But uh, yeah, um, it's it's not something that you can rush. It's it's a five plus year commitment if you want to get to gold. I'm not even thinking about mythic. My personal goal is to get this piece of equipment on all my accounts to purple, and then I'll I'll be fine with that. Uh, I'm I'm sure i'm gonna try to get it to gold but it's it's gonna take forever i will need at least at least one more gold drop for a crimson crimson main and then i'm gonna obviously need to be i mean i need to get lucky i need i'm close to only two purple uh if if i know igg i'm gonna get a gold drop uh whenever i only need like one gray so uh it is what it is uh, yeah, if you have any comments, write down below. Uh, if you think I'm crazy, that's fine with me. But once again, guys, thanks for watching and see you later.